hello. Funny we should meet like this. Uh, okay, is this weird or what? I mean, you know, but it is what it is. We'll be fine. Okay, we'll have a couple of weeks maybe uh, where we do online stuff instead of meeting in the school classroom. We meet on the online classroom. Okay, so it'll be fine. We'll get it worked out together. All right. Anyway, I do want to say sorry I was uh, absent the few days before this happened. Uh, I just had a flu with a little bit of cough and they were saying, if you're sick, stay away. So it was just a normal flu. Uh, I'm fine. Everything's everything's cool. Anyway, um, a couple things that we really got to make sure you guys understand. One, we have to take attendance every day, meaning the teachers are required to. You probably know this by now. How I'm going to do it is every day that you have a scheduled class, like if you have the block period, you know, with the, on the Monday, Thursday thing, then, then, and, or if you have the block period on the Tuesday, Friday thing, and then everybody, it's going to be six period Wednesday. So each of those days, I'm going to have an online assignment that you have to fill out. Okay. It's going to be like a uh, multiple choice sort of thing, and you have to turn it in by 2.30. Okay, because then whoever's turned it in gets counted present. Okay, I'm not going to have some other separate kind of form unless I just, you know, need to come up with something really short and sweet. At any rate, getting those assignments done on the day they're assigned is crucial in order to be counted present instead of absent. Okay, if you don't quite get it finished by 2.30, then get it in by 3.30 or whatever. But try, try really, really hard to get it in by 2.30 because that's when I have to say who's turned it in and I have to submit to the district or whatever the you know computer that says who's there. Okay, so anyway, that's going to be going on. I'm going to make sure you know that. So there's something I want you to know. You should have your notebooks, uh, okay? Make sure you have your notebooks. In a second, we'll have a video kind of sort of getting your notebook straight and what you should have so far. And I will be really clear about it when we do the online things. There will be some assignments to go in your notebooks and there'll be other assignments that are turned in and submitted electronically. And I'll try to be really clear about which is which. Um, chances are very possible since we have block periods and stuff, we might have one of each in each of the block days. And on Wednesday, we'll, we'll have to see what it is, but it'll be something shorter. Okay, so anyway, I want to make sure everybody understands that. It's really important every day that you check into the website, to the a classroom, uh, the Google Classroom, and see what the assignments are. Get it done by 2.30 and you'll be counted present. Okay, seventh graders. Uh, anyway, it, if you don't have your notebook now, please pause the video, go get your notebook, open it up to your assignment sheet. First thing I'm going to do is make sure we're all good on where the assignment sheet should be. All right, so we've graded all these assignments, got your notebook grade recorded there. If for some reason you don't have your notebook, make sure you keep all the hard copies of the assignments that we got to do because you're going to be taking notes and stuff. If it's white, you got to write. It's going to be very similar to how we did it in the past. So you need to keep them all together in one place. If you don't have an assignment sheet, you need to make one on your own out of just a blank piece of paper. Remember, all the assignments on the assignment sheet need to be numbered just like mine, and every one of those assignments has to be numbered just like it's numbered on the assignment sheet. So in your notebooks already, you should have the electric wires and resistance uh, thing, number 16, number 17, electric power. Now that's the last one I was there to teach, and then you had electrical power reading with a substitute, and then two videos with a substitute. Please, right now, write on your assignment sheet, number 18, electrical power reading, number 19, human footprint video, number 20, treasures of the earth power uh, video. Okay, and so each of those three should be a set of video notes that you took while the substitute was there. Put them in your notebook and number them. Okay, so there were 15 recorded or uh, required for each of those. If you have extras and stuff, when we grade them, you know, some of you are probably going to be getting some extra credit for having more than what was required. Okay, so make sure you have that in your assignment sheet, on your assignment sheet, and in your notebook, numbered according to here. Now, here's the deal the stuff we're doing with the electricity and stuff really is hands-on kinds of things. You need the wires and the magnets and the electricity and the batteries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, equipment that you don't have at home. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put that on hold. We'll come back to that later on. We're at a pretty good stop, uh, place to stop anyway, to be honest with you. We really only have one. Uh, the electrical power part is really the only thing that's new. We'll come back to that again. Okay. 
But for now, what we're going to do is shift to something that would be happening later in the year, um, except for, uh, you know, let's push it toward now uh, because what I want to do is, uh, you know, it doesn't have as much hands-on kinds of things, okay? And so here's what you got on your assignment sheet. And so what we're going to do, number 21, we're going to start learning about earth science now. Okay, and like I said, we'll come back to the electricity stuff. So we're sort of starting a new unit, but we're still going to include these assignments as the first, you know, graded assignments because you've got to be accountable for having them. So get yourself a piece of paper, title it Continental Drift, number it, assignment number 21, and then we're going to have the slideshow video uh, kind of thing that you're going to watch and you're going to take notes. Okay, great. Kind of as an introduction, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to be in class for it to be interactive. I'm just going to have to go ahead and pretend we're in a classroom. Uh, and so if you've ever played with Google Earth, it's a really cool program. Uh, I mean, it isn't like a live view of it, but it's based on photographs from space and they put it all together and uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I really like it best. And it doesn't have like the names of countries and borders and roads and all that. It's just the geology of it. And so there's Earth from a distance. And it gives a sense of perspective, really, to picture yourself on the planet. And it's kind of a fun sort of thing when you can navigate around with it. Like, uh, you know, just a little geography uh, reminder. What ocean is this? That's right. It's the Pacific. The Strait of what? Juan de Fuca. What's that? Puget Sound. Okay, and then what mountains are these? Those are the Olympic mountains. They're, I think, my favorite. I love going hiking in there, and especially on the coast, the rainforest and everything. Okay, so anyway, uh, then we got the Cascade Mountains here, and then Eastern Washington. And we're going to be learning more about this. Look how weird that looks. You know, okay, now these things here are irrigated farmland, but look at the geology on this place. It's amazing. And so we're going to learn what caused that uh, later on after we get done with some of the theory of plate tectonics and apply some of it. Um, so at any rate, uh, it's pretty fun to play around with. You know, if you get a little bit of experience with it, okay, you know, this is Lake Washington and there's the two blow bridges, I-90 and 520. And you zoom in. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. And what's that? Oh, there's Timbercrest. Oh, look, there's cars in the parking lot. Oh, that's not very realistic. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it's fun to play around with. And if you want it as a, uh, you know, a fine little project, go ahead, play around with Google Earth and see if you can find your own house. That's really pretty fun. Uh, okay. So anyway, <laughs> let's kind of move on with the uh, content here. This idea of plate tectonics is where we're going with this. And I just want to point out something to start off with that... Uh, you guys probably have noticed and probably familiar with. Look at the continents here. Check this out. You ever notice that this coastline and this coastline exactly match up? I mean, how weird is that? What kind of coincidence would it take for these two continents? It looks like you could just pull them together and they would fit, right? Now, people have noticed that for a long time, but it turns out they did fit together. And this is the story of how that discovery was made. Okay? So that's what today's uh, lesson is going to be about. It's about a particular guy named Alfred Wegener and how he's the first guy to put forward a scientific theory. Or, excuse me. I used the word a little bit incorrect. Uh, let's say a scientific hypothesis. What a hypothesis is, is a theory that hasn't been totally supported fully with evidence, but has certain amount of evidence for it. So it's like a question. A hypothesis is kind of like, well, this is how I think is going on. Well, how can we confirm that? So we're going to be taking a look at this. Oh, and what ocean is this, everybody? What is that ocean? Say it, say it, say it. Maybe you know it better from up here. Say it. What is it? It's the Atlantic Ocean, okay, and then you got Greenland and Europe and Africa and South America, North America and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to be, as we go into this, taking a look more in Asia and about the Pacific Rim and things like, what is that stuff? Wow, look at this. That is cool. It turns out some of the geology that's underwater, under the ocean, that nobody ever knew about is some of the coolest stuff on the planet. Anyway, that's what's going to be coming up in the lesson uh, soon to come. 
Okay, so anyway, right now, uh, let's get started. You should have a piece of paper, and when you're taking notes on this, remember, if it's white, you gotta write, okay? Good.